for the hanging leg raises, we have two main grips to use on this. I prefer doing neutral grip, but you can also do like a wide grip, palms out version. The only grip I will say be careful with is the chin up grip. So getting that reverse grip instead of being wide or neutral going here. I don't know what it is about it. I haven't really broken it down, but this gives me a lot of elbow and shoulder pain when I do sets of those. So to me personally, it's a little bit of a wide grip or I really like the neutral grip for these. Now for hanging leg raises, the big thing is I'm taking the slack out of my shoulders first, right? That's where a lot of people have an issue with it. They'll go from here, rip their feet up, and you'll just see those shoulder girdles keep hitting and taking that impact. So once I get my grip, I'm taking the slack out of my shoulders and I'm still touching my toes just so I don't swing, right? So between every rep, I go from here to here, touch the toe, eliminate the swing, right back up. If you need to modify, you can always go knee to chest, take a little bit of tension off of, but you see, I still took that slack out of my shoulders. I don't wanna get that bouncing motion. Right, for wide grip, same thing. From here, touching the toes as I bring everything up. Touch the toe to make sure you don't swing. Right back up. And that's hanging leg raises.